There are some entertainers who stay with us forever. Even if we go years without hearing from them, they're stuck in our minds and our hearts because of their excellent work. Among the many great pop culture icons of the 70s and 80s, one who truly stands out is Barbie Benton. She's a retired film and TV actress, singer-songwriter, and model. She had a magnificent personality that captured our attention forever. She then, all of a sudden, left it all in the 80s to raise her children and focus on her family. Yet, even though she's now retired, we can't stop thinking about her and her amazing presence. Let's dive deeper to learn more about Barbie Benton then and now. Barbie Benton was born as Barbara Lynn Klein on January 28, 1950, in New York City. Though she wasn't from a showbiz background, it seems she was destined for stardom from the get-go. She began her career shortly after turning 18. She appeared as an extra in the Playboy After Dark show, but she didn't remain an extra for long. When she met Playboy's founder, Hugh Hefner, he immediately took a shining to her. He promoted her to serve as the show's co-host. It was also his suggestion she adopt the stage name Barbie Benton. She became a household name almost overnight, and her beauty didn't go unnoticed. She first appeared on the cover of Playboy in 1969 and appeared on the cover a total of four times. But her career was just getting started. Before we tell you more about it, please like this video and subscribe to Facts First for more fascinating stories. As she began to gain popularity through Playboy After Dark and from the cover of the magazine, there were demands for Barbie Benton to appear more often on TV and in films. She was called on to make guest appearances on popular TV shows. One of her most popular TV roles was in Hee Haw and Sugar Time, in which she played Max Douglas. In Hee Haw, she showed her incredible comic talents. The show was a country music variety show that interspersed skits with musical performances. She became one of the favorite cast members and proved she had acting chops. And that led to film offers not too far around the corner. Her first film role was The Naked Cheerleader, a comedy from West Germany. She also appeared in the slasher film Hospital Massacre. She appeared in TV movies such as The Great American Beauty Contest and The Third Girl from the Left. She continued to get regular work in film and television. She had recurring roles in Fantasy Island and The Love Boat. She appeared in the films X-Ray and Death Stalker. In the 1970s, she also showed off her musical talents. Her first albums were Barbie Doll and Barbie Benton, both released in 1975. She entertained us with her singles Brass Buckles, Movie Magazine's Stars in Her Eyes, Roll You Like a Wheel, and Ain't That Just the Way. But what about her life apart from her career? One of the reasons why Barbie Benton was famous was not only because of her incredible talent and her looks. She was also known for her romantic relationship with Hugh Hefner. Though there was a big age gap between the two, it was clear they loved each other. Barbie dated Hugh Hefner from 1969 to 76 and lived with him at the Playboy Mansion. They remained good friends until Hefner's death. Towards the end of the 70s, Barbie Benton met a real estate developer named George Gradow. They fell in love and got married before the 80s. Their children Alexander and Ariana were born in the 80s. Barbie Benton recorded one album, Kinetic Voyage, during this period. She made a few TV appearances and acted in a few films during the 80s as well. But it was clear she was slowing down because she wanted to spend the rest of her life raising her children. She quit show business and focused on her family. Today, she and her husband, George, split their time between Aspen, Colorado and California. Since retiring, she's made a few appearances in documentary programs to discuss her career and especially the legacy of Playboy. Since Hugh Hefner's death in 2017, she's often been asked to discuss her relationship with him. In a 2017 interview with People magazine, she said, quote, When he died, he took a big piece of me with him. During the final months of his life, Hugh Hefner made sure to spend as much time as possible with the people whom he loved the most. Among this small inner circle was Barbie Benton. She said she was extremely sad when he passed, and she cried all night. She would spend as much time as possible visiting him at the Playboy Mansion. They'd always remained friends and would reminisce about old times. During one break on the Playboy After Dark set, Barbie was sitting and studying for a class at UCLA. Hafner noticed her studying and approached her. They discussed her studies, and Hugh asked Barbie if he could take her on a date. She joked she had never dated anyone who was over the age of 24. At the time, Hugh was 42. They went on a date to a disco in L.A. called The Candy Store. They had a strong relationship for almost a decade. Barbie Benton recalled how romantic Hugh Hefner was. She said, quote, He was one of the most romantic men I've ever met. 
He was always rubbing my neck, holding my hand, squeezing me, and making me feel loved. He was also affectionate with other girls, and he loved kissing. I didn't mind because I was very secure in our relationship. Through Hefner, Barbie Benton got a chance to meet many of the great personalities in the film industry. These included stars like Tony Curtis, Tony Bennett, Jack Nicholson, Sammy Davis Jr., and Warren Beatty. Hefner asked Barbie Benton several times to marry him, but though she loved him, her focus was on her budding career. It seemed that in the early 70s, she wasn't yet ready to settle down. Nevertheless, they remained close friends. Barbie has appeared in documentaries to discuss Hugh Hefner and has also appeared on the popular show The Girls Next Door about the Playboy brand. She was portrayed by actress Shara Connolly in the series American Playboy, The Hugh Hefner Story. Since her retirement, Barbie Benton has also developed a new hobby. She spends a lot of time advising on interior design. Her Colorado home looks like a 1970s disco. It features Rococo interiors, curved hallways, and a beautiful view of Starwood Mountain in the Rockies. It's known as the Copper Palace and is often described as being of the space age. No doubt Barbie Benton acquired this interest for interior design from being married to a real estate developer. While they may not live in the extravagance of the Playboy Mansion, there's no doubt that both their California and Colorado homes have their own extravagance. Her children are now adults, and she spends much of her time with her beloved husband. Now in her 60s, Barbie is still as magnificent and charming as she was in her youth. It's no wonder she became a star. It's also no wonder that even after retirement, she's still an icon of American pop culture. So why not take the time to look back at Barbie Benton's remarkable career? Have a listen to her albums and her singles on your favorite streaming app, and check out some of her film work, whether it's The Naked Cheerleader or Hospital Massacre. And of course, you can dust off your shelves and find some old copies of Playboy magazine. Now it's time to hear from you. What do you think about Barbie Benton's remarkable career? Do you think she ever got the recognition she deserved? Let us know what you think in the comments section. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.